Guys, many of you have commented to me about how to download the Google camera. So I looked out on the internet and I found many different ports for it. But most of them were not working. And at least for my OnePlus 5T, I found one port that worked out and it is working really well. Yes, it is not fully stable and the front camera is fully off. But the main camera works flawlessly and has no issues with it. Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you the difference between the Google camera and your stock camera app and why you should be downloading it. And all the links are there in the description below. Okay, so before we start, I'll tell you that I've tested this build on my OnePlus 5T. It works really well. I've not tried it on other devices, but I'll be leaving different links in the description below. You can check and if something works for you, then it's fantastic. I'm not sure that every APK or one APK will work for you. But yes, there'll be multiple links in the description below and you can check them out. Now let's come to the difference between the stock camera app and the Google camera app. The first one is from our most handsome guy at Noise Tech. This guy looks fantastic. But when we take a photo in 80 to 90% darkness, you will see that yes, the Google camera plays a major role. The night side works flawlessly and the stock camera app fully fails. Yes, if your phone does not have an inbuilt night mode, you seriously need the Google camera app. The difference is seriously night and day. Night is your basically your stock camera app and your Google camera app converts that night photo into a day one. The difference is really flawless. I mean, you cannot even expect such good photos from the Google camera. Then I had one more photo of my computer, which turned out to be really very good. If you look closely, you will see that on the keyboard, you will see the major difference part. On the keyboard and the mouse part, you will see that the colors on the Google camera are really very good. The Google camera has got some great highlight details. And on the stock camera app, the picture turns out to be really blurry. The picture is not good at all and cannot be used. But the Google camera one looks fantastic. Then there was one more picture of my room where you could see the wall clock. The wall clock on the stock camera app is hardly visible. You have to zoom in if you want to check the time. But on the Google camera app, the room looks perfectly lit. And yes, over here there's 80-90% darkness and night sight works flawlessly. You'll have no issues with it. The photo looks really fantastic and it comes to life. And then there are many different photos where you will see the differences between the Google camera and your stock camera on night and day. When you take a photo during the daytime or during the artificial lightning condition, there's not a lot of difference. But yes, Google camera captures those natural images. Whereas the photos from the stock camera, at least from my OnePlus 5T, are overexposed. I do prefer the photos taken from the Google camera because the colors turn out to be really very good. Okay, so guys, this was a quick video comparing the Google camera and the stock camera. All the links to download the Google camera app are there in the description below. There are multiple versions below in the description. You can check it out and any of them works for you then it's fantastic. The one that worked for OnePlus 5T, I'll be linking it in the description below. OnePlus users do check it out. There's one more version for Android 10, that is Google camera 7 and 7.1. But those do not work on my OnePlus 5T. So if you have a phone that is a OnePlus 7 or 7 Pro that has already received Android 10, then that is a fantastic thing. It will work for you. But for me, it does not. So all the links will be there in the description below. Guys, if you like the video, do hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.